Here are 60 build hacks for Minecraft 120. Some of these are brand new for Minecraft 120, and some of these build hacks are classics that I've applied the new textures and items to. And if you find some things useful in this video, make sure you hit that like button and click on subscribe. Both of those help my channel a lot, and will help me keep on making more of these build videos. Number one here, we'll use the new decorated pot to use as a well feature, and we'll put on some signs on the side like that. And we'll put one in the water as well right there, and then a glass pane right between the two to act as a pouring water feature. Number two is to put a decorated pot inside of a bamboo crate using trap doors. Looks great. And three, we'll do the exact same thing using cherry blossom wood trap doors. And again, I think this looks really nice here with this decorated pot. The new cherry blossom biome has these pink petals that are all over the ground. And you can control what these look like by clicking them from one to four times and changing how many petals are inside each one of these squares. But I think we can make this look even better by placing in some azalea bushes so just the tops of the bushes are showing. Cherry blossom leaves make a nice hedge. We can really improve this by first putting down some azalea bushes and then putting the cherry blossom leaves on top of those azalea bushes, making a much more interesting hedge. Here's another great idea. Use decorative pots as the center for a table using trap doors. Makes a real nice looking interesting table. And you can see down here that the decorative pots are the base for the table structure. Again, really nice look using just decorative pots and trap doors. Here's an old trick that looks great with the new yellow and pink woods. Just putting three fence gates together and don't forget string in the middle like that. For more variation, you can stack decorative pots together, giving you tall pots and short pots. Put a flower pot on top and then you can plant anything you want inside that. So we now have two different sizes of decorative pots. You can use glow lichen to add variation onto cherry blossom leaves. It also works with vines. You can even put water inside of a cherry blossom leaf, but if you break that, it's gonna flood the plane. Place a stick and a trap door and then a bird on top. Make sure you give him seeds so that he stays put. A little bit of scaffolding on top of that. And then around the backside, let's make that post taller. There we go. Come around front one more fence and then a chain and we have a hanging bird cage we can now make some great outdoor furniture using yellow and pink stairs and also yellow and pink signs just like that and there we go i think those look great you can place decorative pots in the ground we'll just do four pots to start with and then place any kind of trap door on top of those for a very interesting looking feature now, this also works with the bamboo trap doors as you can see there you can also use carpet if you want to, or even moss carpet, which blends in real nicely. Really interesting little texture. Bamboo mosaic stairs works very well as a roofing material. It really kind of looks like a thatched roof or a straw roof, and it's good for smaller cottage style houses. You can replace that ugly balcony fence with a balustrade made out of hanging signs. They'll have to go into a solid block to begin with, but then you can put them against each other and make a real nice banister. There we go. Looks great. Cherry wood trap doors make a very nice looking trellis for the side of a house. Now you can't get anything to grow actually on these, but you can grow things around them. Let's just go ahead, we'll finish off this side right here. And then we'll take some hanging vines and put those vines along the wall. And once those come in, it'll look really, really nice. And you can then put some plants in front of the trellis to make it look even better. Okay, let's just give it a bit here. There we go. And that's looking really nice. Here's another outdoor chair design using stairs and trap doors. Makes for great outdoor furniture. With the new open look trap doors and doors, we can now make our doors three tall. Simply put trap doors at the top, bring those down, and there we go. Real nice open effect here for our double doors. And I think this double door skylight effect works even better with the bamboo doors. Let's just put our trap doors up here. Real nice white and open, which I think looks just phenomenal right there. Great new look. You can fast harvest pink petals the same way you'd fast harvest flowers. Just toss down a bucket of water, pick it back up again with some dirt or something else, and then go around and collect all of your pink petals. Real fast, real easy. Here's a picnic table or workbench design. It looks absolutely perfect using the new bamboo fences and also bamboo pressure plates. Real quick, real easy to make as you can see. There we go. Let's take a fast look at that. I think that's great. Here's a quick planting table that just needs one bamboo scaffolding and a couple of bamboo trap doors like that put down some flower pots toss some plants inside your flower pots and there you go let's try this with the brand new torch flower as well for a quick outdoor chair use bamboo scaffolding and a bamboo pressure plate just like that let's turn our outdoor chairs into outdoor couches just by adding in one more stair like that and putting the sides back on them again there we go 
nice outdoor furniture. Here's some easy bamboo crates. Start with a trapdoor on the ground, put a bamboo scaffolding on top, and then add the sides with bamboo trapdoors. Also works really nice if you do this as a double crate as well. Let's just go ahead and we'll put the trapdoors on this one, finish the end off, and there we go. You can put all kinds of items inside of the decorated pots. So the first was a sea pickle. Chain looks really nice in here, and a single candle works out very well also. If you want to add flowers, just put a flower pot down first, and then put your flowers or saplings inside of the flower pot. Here's something which looks like a shovel. Start with three bamboo posts. Break a hole here, sing it down a little bit, and then put a hanging sign on the bottom of the bamboo post. There we go. And there it is. There's a shovel stuck in the ground. Let's use doors to give our outdoor chairs a high back look. There's the pink chair, and there's the bamboo yellow chair. Let's make a tall bush here with a fence post, cherry leaves, and on top of that, we'll put some hanging vines. There we go. Looks like a plant with some pink flowers on it. Of course, we had to have some trapped our shelves on this list. They look really nice with the new pink and the new yellow colors. Already adds some more color and brighten things up in your house build. The lectern makes a great stand for the new decorated pot. Let's just look at it from this side over here. There we go, really nice. The decorated pot makes a great base for any kind of post, lamp post, bell post, whatever. And with the decorated pot, we finally have a good base for our beach umbrella. Just use bamboo posts and string and the carpet on top of the string and it gives a real authentic looking, real believable beach umbrella. And there it is, really nice. Lots of bamboo and strip bamboo make for great floor patterns. The yellow is the strip bamboo, put that down first, and the green is the regular bamboo, and I'm putting those down endwise. Mix azalea leaves with the pink cherry tree leaves with your other leaf blocks for a real nice effect. Let's use hanging signs along with some trap doors Make some really nice outdoor benches or outdoor tables. And then just take away those dirt blocks after you're through. There we are. Here's an easy Japanese garden water feature. Start with some bamboo fence posts, and then right below that, put up a glass pane, and then finish off with a decorative pot at the bottom and another glass pane to bring it all together. Cherry wood and bamboo trapdoors make great outdoor baskets. Just put them down in a flower pattern like that, bring the sides up, and there you go. The top of the chiseled bookcase makes a great flooring pattern. You can see right here. Real nice look on that one, kind of like a waffle actually. Let's now make a bamboo road sign. We'll be using bamboo fence posts like that. The dirt block just is a building block. A couple of hanging signs, one on each side. Get that taken care of right there. On top of that, we'll be using bamboo trap doors and then finish that off. And there's a nice bamboo street sign. The new bamboo trap door makes a great room divider or a screen. Simply stack a few of these on top of each other. There we go. And then once that's done, open them all up. There we go. And you get a really nice room screen. That easy, that fast, with a great see-through bamboo effect. Okay, this one's a bit trickier and well worth the effort. You'll see what I mean here in just a minute. We're first going to make a basic box shape here with trap doors. I'm using the bamboo trap door. Give yourself a block to stand on and then fill the middle with water. Then put a chest inside that water logs the chest. Now put an item frame on top. Now using a bucket of tropical fish, put a fish on top of the chest. And you then should have a fish swimming on top of that item frame. Using temporary blocks, position a light blue glass block above the fish and then some more temporary blocks and get a piston above that glass block. There we go, facing down. And then fire that piston, and that pushes the glass block down on top of that fish. The fish is kept alive because of the water right beneath it. And we now have a fish inside of a fish bowl. There you go. For fast bamboo chair, use a door and bamboo scaffolding. Decorated pots make great stands for campfires, which is great for a more primitive look in a build. Here's some easy outdoor benches or possibly tables made using just the bamboo and the cherry wood trap doors. And I think those are great for an outdoor setting. Here's an easy table design using bamboo for legs and then some string hiding in there. And on top of that, we'll place in yellow carpets, giving a really nice bright picnic table effect in here. Very easy and great for the outdoors. Here's an old trick using trap doors and ladders to make a freestanding ladder. 
which looks a whole lot better now that we have the bamboo texture in here. It really looks like it's just a ladder and not a bunch of stack trap doors. Use a very decorative pot right there and some carpet for an easy pet dish. You can use an item frame and stairs and then simply place a sign on top of that for a real easy to use directional arrow. Let's go ahead and make this going towards Oz right here. And there it is. The bamboo mosaic block has a great pattern to it and is perfect. You wanna go the whole fantasy route here and place in a yellow brick road in your world. We'll just make one heading off down this direction. And there we go, yellow brick road. That easy using that new mosaic block. We'll just put in some red bricks in here and there is that effect. Make a working chair using just a minecart and a couple of trap doors, one on each side. You're gonna make sure to remove the rail and now I can sit down. There we are. All candles look great using a bamboo post just like that. You can have some variation to your flower pots outside by burying a decorative pot, put a flower pot on top, and then add in your flowers or saplings, whatever you want. And that adds a nice bit of variety. Here's an update on an old favorite. We'll put in a wardrobe here using bamboo. First place in a wall block like that. Put an armor stand next to that facing to the side. And then we'll set up a piston over here. And we're gonna shove that armor stand over just a little bit with the piston. There we go, just enough that it's kind of now in the middle. Let's not get rid of these temporary blocks. And I'll put a new armor stand on this side and then another armor stand on the other side right there. And because there's three armor stands side by side. You can now add in bamboo trap doors on both sides. There we are, one side, side two over here. And these make a real nice open effect for your wardrobe, sort of the normal closed effect. At the bottom, we'll decorate the two barrels by putting in a couple of item frames and a couple of slabs, and we'll put signs on top of that without any message. All I have to do now is just to add in the armor. You might have a nice completed bamboo style wardrobe. There's that nice open effect that you can get with the bamboo trap doors. If you want a more colorful look for your decorative pots, you can combine them with banners either on top or you can place the banners right onto the side of the pots like this. It adds a lot of color to your scene. Cauldrons and scaffolding both make great stands for decorative pots. There we go. Not sure why you'd want to, but you can put a player head on top of a pot. This also works with skeleton heads and other heads. Combining plain pots and hoppers makes for a very good looking column. Almost looks like the pots are rusted metal for a real industrial effect in here. And there it is. You can use cherry tree leaves along with flower pots and dead plants to make a really nice looking potted plant. To start with cherry leaves, knock out the bottom and replace that with flower pots and dead bushes. Let's add a garden swinging bench to this cherry tree right here. We'll first bring down some chains from this one long branch. Need a little space to get underneath, so we'll just put these down at the bottom. And at the bottom of the chains, put down trap doors just like that. There we go, fill that hole in. Then put a trapper in between. Now on the back side, put trap doors against the chains. Another chain there in the middle and a trap door. That gets our back taken care of. On the sides, we're gonna come in and place in two cherry signs. One there, one there, and here we go a nice hanging bench inside of our, for our cherry tree grove. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any build videos in the future. And I'll see you next time.